Ladies and gentlemen, the top 12 finalists of Miss ECL 2024. So ladies and gentlemen, these are our top 12 finalists of Miss TCL 2024. And the, the one who gives the best answer will go ahead to top 5 finalists of Miss TCL 2024. So ladies, body simple here. Aap logo ko baul diya jayega. And you have to pick the paper, the the judge number that you get will ask and will put you a question. I request the volunteer to kindly come on stage. Jesus, are you ready? Judge number five. Hi. Hello. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. So, I love your gown, first of all. Thank you so much. So, your question for tonight is, how do you define success in a person? If you want me to repeat it, I can repeat it. Do you want me to repeat it? Thank you so much for your question, ma'am. Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would define a person as a successful when he or she is happy for what they have achieved in their life. Moreover, I would define a person as even more successful if they have the quality of good character, talent, and hard work. Because this is what really defines to be a successful person. And that's why they say, success is not about how you look, but it's about what you do and who you are. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number one, Ms. Nyandam Ara. Judge number three. Hello. Hi, sir. So, my question to you is, how do you empower yourself and the women around you? Thank you, sir, for the question. I would love to share some of the simple and useful tips that I use to empower myself, as well as the women around me. They are positive attitude. You can't empower yourself if you don't have a positive attitude. You must have faith in yourself and believe in your capabilities. Second is education. Education is must to empower ourselves because education provides skills and knowledge to succeed in any field that we choose. Last but not the least is self-confidence. Have faith in yourself and your abilities because the more confident you are, the more empowered you feel. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number six, Miss Rikam Lama.
Church number one. Hello. Hello, sir. You are looking very beautiful tonight. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, my question is very simple. How do you handle disappointment? Thank you so much for the question, sir. So for me, disappointment comes only when you keep your expectations high. So I never keep my expectations high because I believe what you get is what you sow. You cannot expect a bitter God to be sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number two is Wang Li Rangkong. Judge number five. Hi, beautiful. First of all, congratulations for Miss Congeniality. Thank you, ma'am. So, your question is, how can communities work together to prevent and address violence against women? And what role can an individual play in breeding safe environment? Thank you for your question, ma'am. We as a community can work together to prevent violence against women by awareness and education regarding consent, healthy relationships, and I as an individual can promote, I as an individual can promote self-awareness, education, and raise voice against sexism, gender-based violence. Thank you. That's the number nine means usual sin. Just number five. tonight is my night so I'll just ask you a very simple question um, what is your definition of a true winner thank you for your question ma'am for me there is only one winner in the competition and a true winner is someone who never gives up on themselves Someone who have faced many failures and someone who had hardships and challenges and adjusted to different circumstances and yet they believe in themselves and their beliefs are what take them to the their beliefs is what their beliefs is what make them stronger because they have learned from their experience and failures and a true winner for me is someone who never gives up of themselves thank you ladies and gentlemen the best so number seven is Judge number four. Good evening, ma'am. You look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right, so your question is, right now, there are some people out there saying that beauty pageants are destroying the youths of Arunachal Pradesh. How would you convince them otherwise? I would convince them by telling my own story because this pageant is not all about beauty. It has taught me so much. I have realized that I like in so much 
like my self-confidence, the way I presented myself, and my mentor taught me so much about these things and I have really improved. The way I became a better version of myself, I would like, that, uh, I would like to tell the people that pageantry is not all about beauty, but there's so much more to it. And this thinking is not true because this field has shown that there's so much women out there who can show their talents here in this platform. So, yes ma'am, I would like to convey my message like this to you. Thank you so much. So ladies and gentlemen, this was contest number five, Ms. San Long Sun. Hello lady, how are you? I'm fine, thank you ma'am. Okay. So your question is, according to you, what is the reason of racial discrimination and how would you respond to it? Thank you so much for the question ma'am. One of the biggest reasons for racial discrimination is negative representation of media, the way they portray the races in different ways, through newspapers, books, and television. So I think that people should know racism is not a good thing. We should improve ourselves and show them that we are a better person in the society. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was contestant number eight, Ponky Ransom. Judge number two. Hi, beautiful. Hello, ma'am. My question is, how can you inspire people if you win the crown tonight? Thank you for the question, ma'am. Once again, a very good morning to each and everyone. Ah. <laughs> if I win the crown tonight, I would like to inspire the people out here using this platform that by promoting the social cause which are close to my heart like mental health and also promoting education and gender inequality. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was contestant number 10, Umawati Singh Judge number two again. Hi, beautiful. Hello, ma'am. My question to you is, how Miss TCL Beauty Pageant does challenge you? Thank you for this question, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, once again. This platform of Miss TCL Beauty Pageant has been so far challenging for me. I never thought that an event like this would be so impactful on my journey to becoming a woman of quality. The challenges I faced during, during, during the performance is to face the challenge, to accept the way I'm built, the knowledge I carry within myself, and the time management. But I would say that the race was very harder one, but I would definitely say that. <laughs> I would say that the race was a harder one, but I would definitely say that as a, as a stumble upon me, the bruises I got turned into my self confidence, my beauty, and moreover, a great experience. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, this was the test number 11, Miss Adam Wamsu. Judge number two again. Hello. Thanks, ma'am. Tonight I'm very lucky to have you all. My question to you is, if you could give a piece of advice to pass on to the next generation, what would it be and why? So, thank you for the question, ma'am. A piece of advice I could give or offer to the next generation is that while embracing modernity, always stay connected to your roots and traditions because it provides us identity in the society. And it is our responsibility to pass our culture to the next generation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was contestant number 12, Ms. Nyambyo Wangsa. Judge number one.